up. Okay, so before you even think about pressing the register button or even starting this whole like path and journey, you gotta realize some things. You gotta see the bigger picture here. So again, think about this before you start this because you can be in a whole lot of trouble in the future if you don't hear me out. So I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why you should not get a master's degree in engineering. If you have any of these points, don't do it, okay? Or just like think really hard before you can do this because this whole journey is gonna be really hard for you. I did notice a few of my classmates who went through some of these points that like they're having a much more stressful time in their life because they didn't follow these rules. So again, hear me out, listen to some of these reasons why before you start and then hopefully your life will be better. So like the number one reason, like this literally was the reason why I went off to get my master's degree. But the number one big reason that most people continue to go on to get their master's degree too is that they think that getting this degree would better their chance of getting a job or like having a higher potential salary. So like again, this is the main reason why most people go into higher education because they want to get paid more, right? So let's just get that out of the way. Yes, it is true that you would most likely get paid more, but it's not guaranteed that you will find a job. So most students do this during undergrad, like they just try to go for the highest degree and they think that automatically because I'm so competitive, I'm much better than everyone else that I'll get paid more. I do see where you're coming from. Like, again, this is my main reason why I got a degree too. This is the main reason why most people get their degree. And the main reason that like, you know, most adults who are much older, they believe that too. Like they think that if you just get if you're smarter and better, then you'll guarantee a higher pay and that'll make everyone happy. Don't think that, okay? I've seen so many people, like, they advance their degree and it's not worth it. Like, it's not a useful degree in the first place. And they spend thousands of dollars getting their master's and whatever, and they wasted years of their life and they regret it. I've seen people with a bachelor's degree make more than someone who has their master's degree in some other field. So, Again, don't think that you're guaranteed to get paid a lot more just because you have your master's. It's what you do, not the degree that will define how much you make. Don't fall into the trap like me. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Like, I'm just like telling you the truth bomb here. The next one is that don't be scared of jumping into the real world. So some people, after they graduate from undergraduate, some people they're just too scared to jump into the real world, you know, starting a job, paying their bills, what they deem as like, you know, adulting. I know you're scared, some people don't really know what they're doing in life, but they just want to stall more. Like they want to keep going to school so they can keep learning and then sort of push back being an adult and like getting responsibilities. Don't try to wait because eventually, I mean, you're going to have to face reality soon enough. Don't waste your time applying for graduate school, like, you know, spending another two years, spending $20,000 or more for graduate school just because you don't want to jump into the real world, get your first job, have responsibilities in life. You're just like stalling in life. You're gonna get way more stressed because now you have an accumulated like $20,000 worth of debt and like two years wasted in school when you could have had like two years worth of work experience, paying off the bills and doing that. So it's like a trade-off between like growing up versus trying to stall in life. Like it just doesn't make any sense. And if you're scared of like adulting, I mean, you, hopefully you guys have some friends or parents or of all cases, you know, at least you have Google to like help you. How do I pay for taxes or, you know, how do I pay the phone bill? Where should I live? How much is rent and so on? You have the whole internet to look up that. Another big reason why you shouldn't just jump into this degree is that like, your friends or your family are pushing you to get it. So here's what happened to me. My parents pushed me to get a master's degree because they thought that you know, a higher degree would equal higher pay. So they just really pushed me and pushed me to get it because that's what they're thinking. They're thinking really in terms of like the money. Of course they're not going through it. Like you're going through it, not them. Someone else is not going through what you're gonna be going through for two years. So like why should they dictate how much pain, how much suffering, and how much maybe a waste of time that you'll be going through when you know it's so much easier for them to say it. You don't have to listen to them if you know it's not gonna work out. So they're pushing me and pushing me to get this degree and they don't know how it feels to go to grad school and like, you know, get like straight A's. It's so much easier for them to say it than for me to do it. Don't get peer pressured into doing something when you know what's best for you. Alright, so it's your life, probably be your money spent, so realize what's best for you. If they want, if your friends or your family want it, then, you know, they can go to grad school. You don't have to. The next thing is that you aren't passionate about what you're getting your master's degree in. For example, if you're an environmental engineer with your bachelor's and you hate this field, why should you spend like two years of your life paying $20,000 to get a master's in engineering? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Why would you pay to go through more pain? 
also we have to realize that if you pursue this path, how will you see yourself in like 10 years? Will you see yourself actually working in that field? Will you be miserable for the next 10 years? Will you like regret your decision 10 years from now? Do you see yourself pursuing this field and like enjoying it? Like I don't want you to just take it because it pays well, but like you're miserable. Do you really want 10 years worth of regret and pain and misery? Make the decision for yourself, okay? So you're going through the pain, no one else is going through it, it's up to you. Plan ahead, okay? You know, have a magical crystal ball, foresee yourself, where am I gonna be, you know, 10 years from now if I actually pursue this. And lastly, don't get this degree if you're like super heavy in debt or like if you have other obligations, whether it's like financially or like the family provider. So some of these tips, like they sort of tie in with one another. Yeah, so going back to this one, if you're like financially burdened with undergrad already, you think an extra $20,000 worth of student loans is gonna help your situation? No, right? So this is time commitment and also like financial commitment. And if you have to provide for someone else, $20,000 taken away from you will not help at all. So just plan and foresee how much time and money you'll be taking away if you pursue this. So getting a master's, like, it's not for everyone. You have to be committed. You have to you know, stay focused. You aren't even guaranteed to like graduate because you know if you fail a class, that could be an extra year or a few thousands that you have to cough up. And you don't know if you have like that time commitment. You don't know if you can like fail and fail again because sometimes you just need to get out of there and then like, graduate. They sort of really push you to graduate, but that's how like the school system is in America. So I know it's pretty sad. All right, so this is a pretty depressing topic for me to go over. I know it felt like I was just pushing you and nagging you just to not do this, but I'm just warning you what you'll have to sacrifice if you pursue this. If you have like one or two of these points that it doesn't mean that you can't go, I had also like a financial burden too because I didn't want to like accumulate more debt but I knew in the long run that I would enjoy this so again you just have to balance and see what is right for you and you don't have to listen to me too right so I'm telling you if you have most of these points you should not go but if in your heart deep down like you really really want to go just go and get it I'm just here to warn you about your decision all right so personally it worked out for me again I had some of these points but I still went and then it worked out everything worked out Hopefully if you pursue this route, everything will work out too. Alright, that's all. Goodbye.